This is Module 3, Lesson 18, Homework, Side 1. Today's objective was to solve two-step word problems involving all four operations and assess the reasonableness of solutions. Directions. Use the RDW process for each problem. Explain why your answer is reasonable. RDW stands for write, let's try that again. RDW stands for read, draw, write. So we're going to read the problem, draw a picture, and write a problem or number sentence to solve the problem. Number one, Mrs. Portolo's cat weighs six kilograms. Her dog weighs 22 kilograms more than her cat. What is the total weight of her cat and dog? I know her cat weighs 6 kilograms and her dog weighs 22 kilograms more than her cat. Get a crayon or a highlighter and highlight the question. What is the total weight of her cat and dog? This problem involves two steps. So I'm going to make space on my paper to solve two steps. Her cat weighs 6 kilograms. Her dog weighs 22 kilograms more. I need to find out how much her dog weighs. In this problem, D is going to stand for dog. When I look at my tape diagram, I have two parts, but I am missing the total. My parts are not equal, so I cannot multiply those two numbers. Since I am missing the total, another problem I can solve is 22 plus 6 will equal D. I'm going to rewrite my problem vertically to help me solve. 2 plus 6 is 8 and 2 tens plus 0 tens is 2. So D equals D equals 28. So I can write a sentence The dog weighs 28 kilograms. I'm done with step one. I need to revisit my question. What is the total weight of her cat and dog? So I know her cat weighs 6 kilograms. And now I know that her dog weighs 28 kilograms. I need to find their total weight. So T is representing the total. Again, this tape diagram has two parts and it's missing the total. The parts are not equal, so I'm not going to multiply. To find T, I'm going to add the cat's weight plus the dog's weight to equal my total. So again, I will rewrite the problem vertically. 28 plus 6. 6 plus 8 is 14. 2 plus 1 is 3. T equals... 34. Going back to the question, what is the total weight of her cat and dog? The total weight is 34 kilograms. Number two, 
Darren studies for his science test for 39 minutes. He then does six chores. Each chore takes him three minutes. How many minutes does Darren spend studying and doing chores? I know he spends 39 minutes doing chores. Or, excuse me, studying. But he is also just doing six chores. Each of his chores take three minutes. Get out that highlighter again. How many minutes does Darren spend studying and doing chores? I need to figure out how many minutes he does doing chores. I know by looking at what I circled that Darren does six chores. Each of his chores take three minutes, so I need to figure out how many minutes his chores take him. I'm going to use the letter C to represent the minutes the chores take. When I look at this tape diagram, I can see that each chore is taking three minutes. So I have equal groups where each number is the same. So I can do a multiplication problem to solve. There are six chores times three minutes each, which is going to equal C. Six times three, I can count by sixes three times. Six, 12, 18. C equals 18. Darren's chores take 18 minutes. Now looking back at my question, how many minutes does Darren spend studying and doing chores? Darren spends 39 minutes studying and 18 minutes doing chores. I want to know how many minutes that is. If I look back up at number one, my type diagrams up there look the same as my second step, where I have two parts, but I'm missing the total. To find my total, I'm going to add 39 minutes plus 18 minutes for my total minutes. Again, I will rewrite my problem up and down to help me solve. 9 plus 8 is 17. 3 plus 1 is 4. Plus 1 is 5. So, M equals 57. Darren spends 57 minutes studying and doing chores. Number three, well, let's read. Mr. Abbott buys eight boxes of granola bars for a party. Each box has nine granola bars. After the party, there are 39 bars left. How many bars were eaten during the party? I know Mr. Abbott buys eight boxes. Each box has nine granola bars and there are 39 bars left after the party. So with my highlighter, 
How many bars were eaten during the party? First, I need to figure out how many granola bars Mr. Abbott bought. Mr. Abbott bought eight boxes. So I'm going to start by illustrating the eight boxes. In each box, there were nine granola bars. I need to find my total granola bars. This tape diagram shows me eight equal groups of nine. So to find my total, I'm going to multiply eight groups of nine to equal T. You're going to finish that part by yourself. After you have found the total granola bars, we can look at the second portion to find out how many bars were eaten during the party. I'm going to take my total and write it underneath. I know that I have 39 bars left I need to find how many were eaten. Again, after you solve part one, you will know what T is for part two. So part two, I will know what the total is and I will know one of the parts, but I am missing the other part. When I am missing a part, I need to subtract. So I'm gonna subtract the total from part one minus the 39 bars that were left, which is going to give me E, the numbers that was eaten. So when you finish this problem, you're going to replace those T's with what T is on part one. That will tell you what E equals. Try number three on your own.